Hey everyone, my name is Havoc, and today I'm starting my first ever Let's Play series for a game here called War Dragons. I'm playing, I've been playing War Dragons for several months now, so I have a lot of experience with the game. And uh, But I wanted to start a new, new account here and record my progress starting from scratch. And my plan is to live stream pretty much whenever I play on this account, and then take those clips and make YouTube videos. And those would be for anyone who misses the stream so they can catch up. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the series. This is something that I've had in the back of my mind for a while now, and I'm excited to finally be able to make it happen. By the way, this first episode will not be live stream, but for future updates, tune into my Twitch channel, the link of which will be in the description, and I'll make sure to set up a time schedule shortly as I get into the swing of things. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So basically, a couple things that I need to cover. Um, pretty much, you you missed you guys missed the intro. There's just like a short cutscene where it kind of shows a little bit of the background of the game and just like uh, just random stuff that you don't really need to know. All you need to know is that now I have two dragons and it wants me to build a sheep farm. <laughs> All right, so we'll do what it says. And right, we'll finish that up quick. And there's, there we go. Alright, so this sheep farm, just go through it quickly, it makes food, <laughs> uh, meat, and it uh, that's what you level up your dragons with. So now it wants us to attack the next person. Yeah, so pretty much the intro to the game, you just learn how to place buildings and attack with dragons, and breed dragons, etc. Alright, so now we're going to use a, our second dragon named Frigg, and Frigg's a hunter, and he has fireball attack. He also has a lightning spell. Uh, but anyways, this is it. All you have to do to attack with, attack with a hunter is just tap. So we'll attack now. Going up against Laria. By the way, you always want to like destroy all these. Destroy as much like of the environment as you can. The trees don't really give you much. These little buildings don't give you much. But like these towers, they give you boosts on occasion. So you want to attack those. So anyways, just run into the base real quick. Pretty simple stuff. Um, you also want to make sure to destroy these boats. They usually give you a lot of boosts too. I guess we'll see later when I get a boost and I can show you. Alright. We're just going to finish this up. Destroy the castle. So yeah, pretty much whenever you defeat a base, you get some food and wood and experience for your dragon. And usually, uh, well in this case, we'll be able to level up. And then we get a new spell. Yep, chain lightning. Alright, that'll show you how to use that. So yeah, you just hit the spell on the bottom left, and then tap on a building, and it'll shoot lightning. It's a pretty powerful spell. Alright. Uh, let's see what we have to do next. Okay, we just have to attack another base. Alright. Select Frig. Pretty basic stuff in the beginning. You guys will figure it out, I'm sure. So, yeah, it's showing you in the, in the left that your rage bar builds up over time. So as I'm going through your base, the rage bar will charge up and you can use that, that rage for spells. So now it'll have me do this. Yep, okay. So now I can cast a lightning spell just like that. Tap on it and tap on a building. See, pretty powerful. Alright, let's see if I can do it again. Yep. Alright, so tap it and then tap on a building. There we go. Pretty awesome. You can also tap with two fingers at a time, which is pretty useful. base down. Only 3 XP. Oh no. Alright. So now we're meeting our dragon guard. This guy is pretty much just going to give us missions that will reward us with egg, egg tokens. So defeat two enemies and I get 20 egg tokens. Alright, so we'll go out and attack. Hopefully this goes quickly. I'll just use free. 
pretty beast as, as of right now at level 1. <laughs> See, I'm attacking all the external stuff, like all the buildings and boats and random crap. It's a good idea to break that stuff. And cast a spell here. Alright, one more. Just gonna take out the gas. Okay. How much XP did we get for this one? Three. Damn you. It's pretty shitty. <laughs> All right, one more. I'm trying to run through this quickly because this tutorial stuff's pretty boring. But uh, yeah, I've gone through this tutorial so many times by now. You usually don't want to use those those chain spells or those area effect spells if you only have one building left on an island. Just take it out, save it for the next one, cause much more damage. That's a pretty good tip, I guess. There we go. See how much quicker I got it done? There we go. And oh, almost forgot that guy. Dead. Nope. That was weird. Dead. <laughs> Alright, so now I should be rewarded with my 20 tokens after I get out of here. Now hopefully it'll show you what you could use those tokens for in a minute. Yeah, so now I can collect these tokens right here. Boom, it goes into my inventory. Alright, mission accomplished commander use these egg tokens to breed dragons. Alright, so that tells you. You go to the breeding castle, hit breed. And now you can breed for a dragon. So you spend 20 tokens per breed. We'll hit that. It should give us the egg. All right. And then after you get the egg, you of course have to incubate it. It's not just going to spontaneously hatch. So uh, in a minute we'll get hexed. All right. I don't care about you, Lord Gustav. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you guys are interested in this, you can read it when you play. <laughs> Alright, oh, looks like uh, we're going to have to wait on that, so we might as well build this archer tower. Oh, because we're getting attacked, so we'll place that down. Speed it up. There we go. Level 2. What does that give us? Hey, a lumber mill. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so this thing will pop up whenever you need to defend yourself. Uh, you'll have a limited amount of time. There's a small window for when you can... If you're playing the game and all of a sudden it says defend or attack, you can join it for a limited amount of time, so we'll join this. So this one, in this case, it's unlimited just because it's a tutor tutorial. So we got an incoming attack from the N uh, NPC Xander. So you see here we, in the these orange tablets, I guess th those are super shot powers. We can throw that on the archer tower, and it'll charge up and shoot an extra powerful shot. Each different tower has a different effect. Like if you put it on the sheep farm, it'll heal my archer tower. And there we go. That was pretty easy. Yeah, and when you kill a dragon, you can get a, a minimum of one or maximum of one award per dragon. So in this case, I got a healing potion. All right. Uh, it's a good idea to receive a notification when you're under attack. I guess most of the time. Uh, a lot of the times you're not going to be able to get back in time though, so it's up to you if you want to have that. But I'm going to go for yes for now. And, uh, yeah, so, let's see. I guess now we want to start clearing some of this forest so we can expand. You can see your defenses can go all the way out to here. Um, but as of right now, we have to start from the beginning. Alright, so clear this bad boy. See our dragon comes to help us. Thank you, Frig. Clear. Alright. So we get a message. Okay. This will tell me how to win at War, Drag War Dragons, apparently. Uh, yeah, so the main idea, complete missions so you can earn tokens, breeding tokens, make new dragons, always, you know, send your dragons to battle, gain XP, gain food so you can train them. And when you join a team, that creates a whole new dynamic so you can attack and defend and win wars and gain more rewards. So we'll get into that later. 
<clears throat> all right uh, let's see all right let's just clear the next one get it going oh that's quick anyway so I'll just clear this one now all right this one's gonna take 10 minutes so that'll take a while you always want to have your forest clearing at all times uh, if you can if you have the food for it so yeah it's just a good idea to have it clearing the background because it doesn't take up any of your builders or anything like that all right so we got an, a timer for doing that timers can be used to speed up things all right so let's take a look at this mission so take out two archer towers all right let's go do that real quick so now it'll take us into the entire uh, list of players who are at, at or around my level but give or take like maybe five levels in each direction so it goes from two all the way up to seven seven being you know the most powerful and then the top being the most easy to beat so we need to beat two archers this one only has one this one has one let's look for one with two uh yeah we can probably do this um yeah let's just go for it all right so i think the best way to just teach people strategy is just to go through as many bases as you possibly can in this case um at the low level stage you, you know just the general idea is just use spells like this and just decimate bases it's not too difficult yes all right my first dragon's down just so you know you can take out your second dragon and you can have up to 11 dragons in this window but you can only use three per round or three per battle We'll use the explosive shield and we'll show you what that does. I'm not going to attack this farm just because I want to show you what the shield does. There we go. Explodes after the timer runs out. Deals a bunch of damage. Alright. Attack successful. 500 metals, 51 food, 77 wood. Both our dragons are ready to level up, so we'll level them up right here. Oh, we got another level on this guy. All right, we could probably go two on Frig as well. Yep. All right, so we got that mission accomplished. All right, we got a bunch of tokens. Let's breed another dragon. So we'll go in, it says we can breed Zin now. All right, we'll breed him. Uh, hopefully we get it. <laughs> oh yeah, all right, we got it. So hopefully uh, Hexed is done. Yeah, it's just about finished now. Hurry it up. All right, a little cutscene. Give me that dragon. Awesome. So right now we're just running through dragons real quick. It's the beginning of the game. It's pretty basic stuff. Things go by pretty fast. Uh, you'll see in the, the bottom middle, this, this is global chat. I'm not in a league right now, so it's just all the un all the players who aren't on teams, they just talking here. I guess it's pretty pretty popular as of right now. Oh, well, I guess it's mostly Dratton Wings 13 talking up the chat. <laughs> uh, we got another award or a quest reward. So this is a tower boost. You can go onto your tower right here, and well, I can't use it yet, but you can attack attach boosts to it and boost your towers by a certain amount collect some food all right let's see what else do we want to do hey guys i'm back so um i realized the tutorial is pretty much over at this point um well it is over at this point um so the pretty much the only thing i can do is just uh continue playing uh leveling up my dragons completing missions gaining more dragons uh, leveling up um, just progressing through the game um, so my plan is as I said to c continue the series on Twitch and highlighting uh, parts and just making them into episodes and posting them here on YouTube and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the series and stay tuned